Hey guys, it's Hayden with Autism Labs, and today um, I interviewed Kay Carr, who is Michael's mom, and we talked a little bit about um, promoting independence and communication for Michael, um, and we also talked about how free access to electronics and to food and water and to his leisure activities uh, can also lead to some challenging behaviors um, that don't actually promote his independence and his communication. Um, so here's Kay talking about what that leads to and what it looks like to provide um, a program-friendly way to restrict these things. Well, even when he's supervised, he needs a little bit of this because several reasons. One, he perseverates on things. So if he gets in his head that he wants a puzzle or he wants something in the kitchen, mostly food, sometimes water, um, he will excessively attempt to access it over and over and over again and it helps break that cycle so that that distraction is eliminated because that becomes a terrible distraction when he's just revisiting the same thing over and over. Some of the reasons are safety reasons. We've got to be sure that he's safe. So that's a second big reason. The other thing is the eloping. If the door back door is open and somebody drives up the driveway, he loves to go run out and greet the car. He also will go down and visit the garbage truck or whatever's in the alley, you know, so there's all kinds of problems with that. So it's those sorts of things. The kitchen is restricted access because Michael will help himself to the water and the food um, all day long if, if given the option. We've locked the refrigerator because he eats in the kitchen and he will get up during a meal and try to access other items that are in the refrigerator. We have a lock on the oven because I've been in there when the oven was on 500 degrees before and he just accidentally bumped it. All those flat panel displays have their, their issues. Then we've got the lock to the pantry. It's a full walk-in pantry and he has many snack selections in there and he always wants a snack. So that's just a simple, a simple control access point for that. Then on the way out of the kitchen we have a key lock on the kitchen door so that he cannot escape. Um, once he's all settled for a meal and he's sitting down and eating, or more likely he's doing the dishes, he sometimes tries to elope. And so the idea there is he needs to request the access to whatever it is and be granted it rather than just running out the room. So the, the key lock prevents him from just running out of the kitchen whenever he feels like it. 